morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. In today's video, I played a tune for you from the Tom Play app called Woolsey's Wild. It's by William Byrd, and I picked it because, one, the Tom Play app is actually doing a promotion this weekend. Um, if you get an annual subscription before June 21st, um, you get 30% off for the whole year. They have a ton of stuff like classical music and also a lot of popular music. A lot of my students have a pretty good time um, playing that stuff and I hope you guys will too. So I picked this from the uh, Tom Play app library because it focuses on the low register of the clarinet and it's a fun little tune um it takes me back to my days in college when we played the william bird suite and the girl who was first chair who played the solo it wasn't me um i thought she just sounded so good and i wanted to sound just like her i was a little freshman when we played that and um yeah so i i love that tune and every once in a while i'll just have it stuck in my head and i'm like oh, i just gotta play it so um i'm sharing it with you guys here and um, it's, it's the low register of the clarinet and one of the big things that uh, I wanted to address in this this month of videos because you know june we're talking about tone giving you tips on how to sound beautiful on your instrument instrument right um so one of the big things about playing in the low register is playing with a nice projected sound but not sounding like honky or out of tune or just kind of like gross and fuzzy. So I'll give you a few tips on that. As a side note, I wanna say thanks to all my patrons for supporting my channel. You guys are great. I loved getting to know you. And if you're not already a patron of my channel, I have a link in the description below. You can click on that and support my channel. And I would, I would just love to see more of you guys there. Now, the, the one thing about clarinet that the, in the low register that I think um, a lot of people kind of overdo is or think too much about is voicing and a lot of people are like yeah you voice low in the high, low stuff and high in the high stuff and my my philosophy is to not think too hard about it and you should really actually be voicing pretty high still in the low register obviously if you voice too high you're going to pop up the register and play in the clarion register instead of the low register like you want to um, so that's how you know you've gone too far but you'll actually get a lot of projection if you keep your air fast and you keep your tongue high and it'll sound quite lovely and rich and full if you do that the other thing that um, a lot of people will do is they may drop their jaw or loosen their embouchure when playing low stuff on the clarinet. Now that will give you a very specific sound that is not a very traditional, like classical sound, at least traditional American classical sound, right? So um, if, if you happen to be somebody who maybe doubles on a larger instrument like saxophone and you're used to maybe I, I'm, I'm stepping into territory I don't know very well but maybe you're used to like adjusting a lot with your mouth you really don't need to do that whenever you're playing in the low register of the clarinet so the goal is to try to keep everything the same whether you're playing low or high okay so set your embouchure set your jaw position set your tongue position and try to keep it there any changes should be so minuscule that it's not even worth mentioning all right and then the last part of the puzzle as all of you know is about breathing so you want to make sure that you take in a nice deep breath and i like to think of the word home in reverse because it just really gets the air all the way down to the belly and when you exhale, you wanna make sure you're exhaling with support so that the notes that you're playing can have the richness of color and the air that they deserve. So these really low notes like the low F, and I don't think, I think that's the lowest that it goes here. You wanna imagine your air going all the way through the entire length of your instrument. If you make your air all the way through the instrument, you know, it's gonna project and everybody's gonna hear your lovely, beautiful tone quality. 
So I hope you guys have fun practicing this this week and, you know, head on over to the Tomplay app. If you're not already on Tomplay and you want to check this out, you can also get a two week free trial if you click on my link below and um, you will have to, you know, sign up for the subscription and everything. But if you don't like it after two weeks, you can you can uh, cancel the subscription. So, um, yeah. I think that's just about it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend this week. I look forward to hearing you post this on the Facebook group. Have a good week next week. And as always, happy practicing. In today's video, I played a little tune for you um, by William Byrd called Woolsley's Wild. I can't say that. How do you even say that? Woolsley's? Woolsley's? Wolseley's words.